Well, hello out there. Um, if there are any hackers, um, or people that want to be hackers, probably, because, hell, I, I'm not good enough to be teaching hackers. I'm good enough to teach those that want to be hackers. I am currently an IT student um, studying security, so this is, well, this is like porn to me. And unlike my programming videos, this is not going to be PG safe. So you've been warned. I probably should have warned you a little earlier, but here it is. Um, okay, so we're going to download Kali Linux and run it on a virtual machine in this video. Um, as you can see, I've got Kali Linux up here in the Google search. Um, just click on that or the download. Um, we come to the main page, um, just giving them some free advertising. I better start returning the favor. Um, go to download Kali Linux. Um, I believe that the system is amazing. I have a main computer running the Kali Linux 64-bit system. I have used the torrent because I believe that rather than using a direct download, it's better to share amongst the community and a program like this. While it might have its unsavory nature, it is still worth everything to the public, um, as you'll see later. So just download whichever one suits you. Um, I would get the full version, though you guys might need the smaller one or whatever. Um, but we'll move on from that and we will go to the virtual machine. So assuming your download is complete, we'll now start to begin to build it. Now, we're going to build a new system, obviously. Um, I use Oracle virtual machine. Virtual box, <laughs> that's a really large um, tongue twister, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to like, set your systems because um, it's going to be a type, it's a Linux, it's a other Linux, as there are no Kali systems or Backtrack systems. Uh, Backtrack is actually, the, Backtrack 5 is what Deakin University students use. Um, so they're a bit out of date, but then again, it's an education system. It's at least 20 years out of date. Um, so we'll click on next. Um, recommended memory size, depending on your computer, you might have a 16 um, gigabyte RAM, but I only have eight, so I'm going to put it up to about 1,000. Um, and we'll create a virtual drive now. Um, I'm going to use the virtual machine disk. It's up to you which one you use. Our mod's just using the same and dynamically allocated. I just feel that, that will suit well. Um, and out of the massive amounts of terabytes, I'm going to use a nice little 20 gig one. And we're going to create. So we have it here. Um, as you can see, it's powered off. Um, we can start it just by clicking on the start. I'm just going to rush it through because this isn't the fun part. This is just um, getting it to the fun part. And I have the system already browsed here. Um, for me, it's in my downloads and Linux folder. Um, yours might be anywhere. Um, open machine virtual disk and we'll start it. Now, I'm thinking I would like to know... Oh, there's a nice little full screen model. Um, now, yeah, that's... Um, bit small, um, but what we'll do, we can do, use the install, the graphical install. I think for those that are new to the system, this will probably be the easiest one, so we'll go through that, and we'll just wait, and wait, and yep, a whole bunch of code I don't think anyone understands, um, obviously English. Well, honestly, I just select the United States, um, I'm actually outside of the United States, if you can guess my accent, um, leave it in the comments, but I'm not going to tell you where I am unless someone gets it correct without it looking like you're guessing. <laughs> um, we use American English because I think that's what most keyboards use. And British English, wow, that, that one's a really messed up system. I spent about 20 minutes on it earlier and it was horrible. So back to my US style keyboard. but. And again, this laptop has a US. Um, I was detecting the hardware. Nice long one. Um, 
while you're bored you might want to read up the top um ooh. Uh, you've auto capture keyboard turned on um, host name uh, so yeah. I'm trying to think of a show that I'm a fan of um you know what Chris um gonna go with Chris you'll see why the domain name um as I loved the Jurassic World movie and I know people said that it wasn't that good um now password um Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Um, I'm going to use Facebook. So yes, um, you can hack into my virtual machine if you want. It just need to get the IP address. I'm not going to give it to you. You should. And honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't know how to actually get to it at the moment. Um, but setting up the clock. It's a long time. Um, well, as we can see up the top here, the virtual machine. Whoop. See, every time I start to try to read something out to you guys, you get this nice little, it's moving on faster. So I'm going to continue to find something to read. Um, uh, honestly, um, I don't really care. I'm just going to use entire disk. Though it really depends on what you want to do. Um, I'd say for this one, just use entire disk. Um, and we've only got one disk, so that's the one we'll use. Um, Again, recommended for new users. It's perfect for new users. <laughs> and we'll continue. And yes, you do want to write changes to the patch. I really hope you do. So, nice little um, thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to talk you through some basic commands. Um, I'm going to just hop onto my other Linux device. And if we can bring up the terminal somehow, um, I have managed to run out of my mouses, so I've only got this nice little one here. Um, so I'm going to teach you a bit just now. Um, okay, I'm just switching back onto my other system so what you're going to be he hearing is you're going to hear me describe commands on my other computer um, and there are some little nuances here obviously um, okay so basically there's three commands that I want to teach you uh, sudo app uh, the sudo app get one which I will actually do later it's just um, app get update and it will update the, all the files that you need need updating um hmm well I am not too sure what to do here um, okay I just got to the task manager and just trying to get out of my nice little backtrack thing. Um, I'm going to end this video and we'll come back to it a bit later. Um,